Bitcoin is often compared to gold. Both are scarce resources, highly sought after for their unique properties. Their limited supply makes them valuable and desirable. However, Bitcoin has a unique feature that sets it apart. Its supply is pre-programmed and predictable, unlike any other asset. This makes Bitcoin fundamentally different from traditional currencies issued by governments. Governments can print more money, leading to inflation and devaluation. Bitcoin supply follows a fixed schedule, ensuring its scarcity over time. This control is meticulously built into Bitcoin's code. It's a key reason why people see Bitcoin as a reliable store of value. Bitcoin's controlled supply is achieved through halving events, which occur every four years. These events reduce the rate at which new Bitcoins are created, adding to its scarcity. Understanding halving is key to understanding Bitcoin's value proposition and future potential. It's a testament to Bitcoin's long-term vision and innovative design. This predictable issuance schedule fosters confidence among investors and users, solidifying its place in the financial world. Imagine a faucet dripping water into a bucket. Each droplet represents a small but steady addition to the bucket. The dripping water represents new Bitcoins entering circulation, slowly but surely adding to the total supply. Bitcoin halving is like turning down the faucet, reducing the flow of new Bitcoins. The flow of water or new bitcoins is cut in half, making the addition of new bitcoins slower. This halving event happens approximately every four years, following a predictable schedule. The bitcoin code dictates this schedule, ensuring consistency and reliability. It's not subject to human intervention or manipulation, making it a decentralized process. Every time a halving occurs, the reward for mining bitcoin is cut in half, reducing the incentive for miners. Miners are the ones who validate Bitcoin transactions and add them to the blockchain, ensuring its security. They receive Bitcoin as a reward for their efforts, which is crucial for the network's operation. Having reduces this reward, making Bitcoin mining less profitable in the short term, but it has long-term implications. However, it also reduces the rate of new Bitcoin creation, controlling inflation. This reduction in supply can lead to price appreciation over time, benefiting long-term holders. The first Bitcoin halving occurred in 2012, marking a significant milestone in the cryptocurrency's history. At that time, the reward for mining a block was 50 Bitcoins, which was a substantial incentive for miners. The halving event reduced this reward to 25 Bitcoins, effectively cutting the miners' earnings in half. The second halving took place in 2016, further reducing the reward to 12 and a half Bitcoins, continuing the trend. The most recent halving occurred in May 2020, bringing the reward down to six and a quarter bitcoins per block, a significant reduction. These halving events are significant for several reasons, impacting both miners and the broader market. First, they demonstrate the inherent scarcity of bitcoin, a key feature of its design. As the reward for mining decreases, so too does the rate at which new bitcoins are created, slowing the overall supply. This controlled supply is a key driver of bitcoin's value making it more attractive to investors. Second, having events often coincide with periods of price volatility, creating opportunities and risks. This is because the reduced supply can lead to increased demand, driving up the price and attracting more attention to Bitcoin. To section four, supply and demand, the driving force of Bitcoin's price. Like any asset, Bitcoin's price is determined by supply and demand. When demand for Bitcoin exceeds supply, the price goes up. Conversely, when supply exceeds demand, the price goes down. Having events play a significant role in this dynamic. By reducing the rate of new Bitcoin creation, having events constrain supply. If demand remains constant or increases, this constrained supply can lead to higher prices. This is a simplified explanation, of course. Many other factors influence Bitcoin's price, including market sentiment, regulatory developments, and technological advancements. Section 5 Impact on Bitcoin Miners Challenges and Adaptations Bitcoin halving events present both challenges and opportunities for miners. The reduced block reward means that miners earn less Bitcoin for their efforts. This can make mining less profitable, especially for those with high operating costs. Some miners may be forced to shut down if they can't cover their expenses. However, having events also incentivize innovation and efficiency within the mining industry. Miners are constantly seeking ways to reduce their costs and improve their operations. This includes investing in more efficient mining hardware, 
optimizing energy consumption, and exploring alternative energy sources. Section 6. The Future of Bitcoin. Having's Role in Long-Term Value. 